Tonight on GDS, we are grilling exactly what Dad wants this Sunday, plus so many stories from Britney Spears' wedding. Oh, it's a good day, Stateline. Hello and welcome to Good Day, Stateline. Hope you had a great weekend. We would love to know what you did with your friends and family this weekend. Send us photos, messages, anytime on Facebook or send us an email at GDS at Fox39.com. It is Monday, June 12th. We are kicking off the GDS Week of the Dads tonight with a new Let's Try It packed with perfect meats for your dad. Uh, we have a great cutting board to try out too. Uh, today is International Axe Throwing Day. The GDS crew did some axe throwing last week in Oregon. You know, we are getting ready for our huge Oregon takeover uh, the week of June 27th. You can always get a behind the scenes look at what we're working on for upcoming GDS episodes on Instagram. Make sure you're following us at Good Day Stateline. Every night we are breaking down the latest trending Hollywood stories here and inside our Instagram story with InstaChat. And it's time for that right now. We are kicking things off tonight with everything about Britney Spears' is wedding, which happened on a Thursday. She would get married on a Thursday. It was an epic wedding on Thursday night from an ex-husband's attempt to crash the celebration to some high-end celebs and three outfit changes. So the ex-husband was not Kevin Federline. He and their two sons, Sean Preston and Jaden James, were actually not in attendance, but they did wish Britney well on her new wedding. Uh, the husband that showed up was her first husband, Jason Alexander, not to be confused with the actor that played George Costanza on Seinfeld. So Jason was the one who tried to crash the wedding. I cannot figure out why. I spent 25 minutes today online trying to figure out why he crashed the wedding. Nobody knows. The two were friends in the late 90s. They got married for 55 hours in the year 2000. Sources are reporting today Brittany has actually obtained an emergency restraining order against him. So who was at the wedding? None of Brittany's family members. Her brother Brian, though, was invited and supposed to be there. He didn't show up. Instead, I mean, she had a pretty good uh, wedding party, I guess you could say. The original queen of pop, Madonna, led a Vogue dance party on the floor with Brittany, Drew Barrymore, Selena Gomez, Paris Hilton, her mom, Kathy Hilton, was there too. Donatella Versace. I could probably talk about this wedding for like an hour or two, but I don't have that much time. So you can check out more inside our Instagram story, okay? A few other big stories to touch on tonight, though. Jennifer Hudson is officially an EGOT. A huge honor for J-Hud. This, of course, means she's won an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony. The Tony came last night for A Strange Loop, which she co-produced. And also tonight, Justin Bieber uh, trending after sharing some news over the weekend. He's postponing his North American tour because he was recently diagnosed with Ramsey Hunt syndrome, telling fans it's from a virus that attacks the nerves in his ear and facial nerves, uh, causing his face to have paralysis. This is related to the chicken pox and shingles viruses. And you can read more about it inside our Instagram story as well. We've always got a bonus story for you there too. Tonight, our bonus story, what Christina Ricci, who of course originally played Wednesday Addams in the 90s, thinks about Jenna Ortega's performance in the new Netflix adaptation, which is called Wednesday. Just follow us at Good Day Stateline to check it out. Shout out to Maria from Sweet Tooth 815 for dropping off this cute mug. Not only is it cute, it's double cute and it's double sided. So this side is Sweet Tooth 815. This side is Wicked Creations by Andrea. <laughs> so they are our two newest members of the GDS Mug Society, and you can be part of the society too. Just stop by the station, drop off your mug anytime. We'll swap you for some GDS swag. We'll be right back.